Today we will learn the basic concept of fungape. What is fungape? And other common questions. While looking at the analytics for my blog, I've recently started to see a lot of search phrases similar to what is fungape? How does a fungape app look? How to get started in fungape? Among many, many others. In this video, I hope to shed some light on some basic questions to help you understand and start working with Fungape. This video provides you with a quick tutorial on Fungape. What is Fungape? How does a Fungape application typically look? How do I get started in Fungape? How do you debug Fungape applications? How do you architect Fungape applications? How do you get Fungape apps on devices and into application ecosystems? What is the difference between Fungape and Adobe Air? What is Fungape? Fungape is an application framework that enables you to build natively installed applications using HTML and JavaScript. The easiest way to think of Fungape is a web view container that is 100% width and 100% height, with a JavaScript programming interface that allows you to access underlying operating system features. You build your user interface using traditional web development skills HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and use the Fungape container to deploy to different application ecosystems and devices. When packaged for deployment, the Fungape application is a binary distributable file that can be distributed by the normal application marketplaces iTunes, Google App Market, Amazon Market etc. How does a Fungape application typically look? Since the UI rendering engine is the mobile device's web browser, Fungape applications can literally look like anything. You can use standard HTML and CSS to make it look like a normal web page. You can use a UI framework like jQuery UI, Kendo UI, Sincha. Twitter Bootstrap, or Skeleton, or any other HTML CSS JavaScript user interface framework. You can also use CSS styles themes to make your web content look like native apps, such as IUI to mimic iOS or Android, or BBUI to mimic Blackberry. Fungape applications can have static UI based on normal HTML or can have dynamic and interactive experiences developed using JavaScript. It depends upon the specific application, user experience design, target audience, and use cases to dictate how a Fungape application will appear. Fungape applications can use pinch zoom gestures to zoom in and out, or you can lock the viewport scale using the viewport metadata tag. You can have the page scroll using normal browser behaviors, or you can use a library like a scroll to enable touch-based scrolling of specific container elements. There really are lots of ways to create a user interface with HTML, CSS and JavaScript, so there really isn't any typical look. If you do not apply any CSS styles at all, then all user interface elements will use the operating system browser default for that specific platform. This includes buttons, links, and color highlight states. This behaves in the exact same manner as the operating system's default web browser. How do I get started in Fungape? Getting started in Fungape is easy. For 90% of a Fungape application, all you need is a text editor. Fungape also integrates with device-specific development environments very easily. You can view Getting Started guides for all application platforms at the links below in the description. 
When developing PhoneGate applications, just keep in mind that you are running code inside of a web browser instance. You develop your applications using HTML and JavaScript, not native code, so you don't need anything special. In fact, I personally do most of my development on the desktop using an HTML editor and the Chrome browser. When I need device-specific functionality, or I need to test on a device, then I switch over to the device-specific environments. How do you debug PhoneGape applications? Debugging PhoneGape applications can sometimes be the trickiest part of development. If you are testing on a physical device, you can't always get access to JavaScript exceptions when they happen. There are a few keys for debugging PhoneGape applications. Develop as much as possible on the desktop browser. Debug with bud.phonegape.com. Remote Web Inspector through iOS 5. How do you architect PhoneGape applications? You generally architect PhoneGape applications the same way that you create mobile web experiences. The difference is that the initial HTML assets are available locally, instead of on a remote server. The PhoneGape application loads the initial HTML, which can then request resources from a server, or from the local environment. Since PhoneGape is based in a browser, it behaves exactly as you would expect a web browser to behave. You can load multiple pages. However, keep in mind that once you load and load a page you may lose any data that is stored in memory via JavaScript. PhoneGape also supports the single-page web experience model. I strongly suggest using the single-page architecture approach. Single Page Architecture A single page architecture refers to the practice of having a single HTML page that dynamically updates based upon data and or user input. You can think of this as closer to a true client-server architecture where there is a client application written with HTML and JavaScript and a separate server structure for serving data. All client-side application logic resides in JavaScript. The client application may request data and update its views without reloading the current web page. How do you get PhoneGate apps on devices and into application ecosystems? PhoneGate applications can be deployed using the same guidelines for native applications for each given platform. You must follow the rules of each hardware platform vendor, and there is no way to get around that. You can compile the executables for each platform yourself using each platform's specific build process, or you can use build.phonegape.com to compile them for you. Build.phonegape.com is a hosted service that will compile platform-specific application distributable files for you. In either case, the output of the build process is a platform-specific binary file, IPA for iOS, APK for Android, etc. You can read more about distributing to various application ecosystems, and each system's signing certificate requirements. What is the difference between PhoneGape and IR? The most fundamental differences between Fulgape and IR is that you develop Air applications using tools rooted in the Flash platform, Flex, Flash, ActionScript, Meters by ML, and you develop Fulgape applications using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. IR applications use the IR runtime, which allows you to have a single code base, with the exact same expected behavior across all supported platforms. PhoneGape applications run inside of the native web browser component for each supported platform. For this reason, a PhoneGape code base may behave slightly different between separate platforms, 
and you will need to account for this during your development efforts. IR applications can be built for iOS, Android, BlackBerry Playbook, and the desktop, Mac and Windows, with future support for Windows Metro, Windows 8 mobile interface. You can read more about IR supported platforms. Fungape applications can be built for iOS, Android, Blackberry, Windows Phone 7, HP Bose, Symbian, and Samsung Bada. You can read more about Fungape's supported platforms. ActionScript has strongly typed objects and supports classical inheritance programming models. Air applications can also be built using the Flex framework, which allows you to rapidly build enterprise class applications. Components in Air applications are logical objects that have behaviors, properties, and a graphics context. AvaScript based applications support prototypal inheritance, and have numerous open source frameworks tools that can be used. HTML JavaScript applications are all visualized through HTML DOM elements. HTML interfaces can be created through basic string concatenation or JavaScript templating, but in the end you are really just creating DOM elements that have properties and styles. There are some fundamental difference in the syntax of building these applications, however the basic concepts of interactive design and interactive development are identical. Both platforms have valid strengths, which I could write about ad nauseum. That's all. Please click subscribe, like and share with your friends.